Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, I'm going to be talking about seven makeup products that make me feel flawless and confident. Technically it's eight products. Technically it's nine products actually. But that's okay because I'm just gonna want blah blah blah. But that's okay because I'm just talking to you about products that make me feel flawless and confident today. A lot of you tagged me on the video that Ali Glines did on her seven products that make her feel flawless. I watched her video and then she actually credited Patty Alonzo for the idea. So I will link both of their videos in my description box. I watched both of their videos. Highly recommend you go check them out. They're really entertaining to watch. But if we want to see what my seven, eight, or nine products are that make me feel flawless and confident, why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so I have actually had on my filming list to do a video on products that make me feel confident because there's one product in particular that I talk about quite a bit on my channel. And when I talk about it and my love for this product, I'm always saying the same thing and that is I feel very confident when I wear it. So I've had that on my list to do. When I So when I saw seven products that make me feel flawless, in my mind, when I feel flawless, I also feel confident. So that's why I thought I could put the two together and. We could just go on our merry way. So that first product that I am talking about, of course, is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I just mentioned this foundation recently in a video called Makeup I Love that everyone else seems to hate. Tear. But I mentioned my love for this. I mean, I've talked about this so much on my channel, but again, the one thing that I say when I wear this is that I feel very confident. I struggle with hormonal acne. I often have a lot of either breakouts or just redness or scars from my breakouts all around my lower half of my face, which is definitely a struggle for me, especially because it just, you know, my skin changed last year and I went from so many years of not having acne to suddenly having acne and also dealing with that and trying to figure it out while being on the internet. It's very hard, it was very challenging for me. So when I find products that make me feel confident, I really wear them over and over and over again because some, you know, sometimes your self-confidence does take a hit when something like that happens. And this is one that makes me feel confident whenever I wear it. It's just my favorite foundation. It makes my skin look so beautiful. My skin still looks natural, yet I have those areas that are covered up, so it's making me feel a little bit more confident. It's so long wearing, so I don't have to worry about it fading away and having to touch up. And I, I just love, I love the finish to it. I love the coverage. I love that it feels lightweight and it just continues to be a favorite foundation because I feel flawless and confident. When I was thinking about products that make me feel flawless and confident, I definitely thought of lip products because lip products to me, I just, I love wearing them. <laughs> I love finding different combinations to try out. I I just I just love lip products. I just love lip products. And honestly, I had a lot to choose from. I had a lot to choose from in this category. I mean, I could do a whole video on just lip products alone that make me feel flawless and confident when I wear them. But I decided to mention this duo because I feel like some of the other ones I talk more about on my channel. But these I definitely feel flawless and confident in. And they are from MAC Cosmetics. And I have the World Lip Liner and then also the honey love lipstick the world lip liner is one of the very first products i ever purchased from mac because everyone on youtube talked about it and it's just a nice nude pink lip liner very long wearing i'm just i'm such a fan of these lip liners even when i didn't love lip liners and wear them like i wear a lip liner pretty much every single time i wear a lip product now even though I had a time where I was like, I don't really get what lip liners do, I still held on to my MAC ones because I was like, I don't know, I just feel like they're nice. <laughs> now here I am. And then we also have the Honey Love and this pairing, Honey Love sometimes can be a little bit too light on me, but especially if I pair it with Whirl, it just makes the most gorgeous combination. And I, once again, I just feel nude lips make me feel confident. A lot of times if I'm wearing a different color or even like sometimes I can feel a certain way with a red but I don't know if a red lip necessarily makes me feel confident it just kind of makes me feel like Vavoom, I'm so fancy today like that's how a red lip makes me feel but then I also feel self-conscious because I'm like oh is it wearing away is it getting on my teeth is it on my face is it something about a nude lip just it it does it brings the confidence to me and this I just think is so stunning um this is a matte lip formula and I also think it stays on really really well uh I had it on the other day and I was wearing a mask for several hours and of course there there was some product on my mask but it still just it looked good it didn't look like it wore away too much and you know you love lip products when you're still wearing them even though you know you're gonna wear a mask 
I just love lip products. <laughs> I definitely wanted to include a concealer in here also because concealer is one of those, even if I was having a day where maybe I was just gonna like run some errands and I really didn't need a full face of makeup, I would still put concealer on and this was before my, ac my acne struggles started. So this was before like I was really like trying to like cover anything up, but it was like, ah, uh, you know, just a little bit on the under eyes, just make me look a little bit more awake, you know, just a little thing like that could help me feel you know just a little bit more confident if I was running to the grocery store or running to the post office or something along those lines so definitely wanted to mention concealer but especially now I, I really do rely on concealers to bring the confidence my way and this is a new product to me but oh it has instantly instantly became a favorite of mine and this is from NARS and this is their soft matte concealer so this is in a little pot and this is one that I have been thinking about purchasing for such a long time because I've heard so many good reviews on it. I see people on YouTube wearing it constantly, uh, but there's also a girl that I follow on TikTok whose name is Michaela, and I was seeing her use this, and she was really struggling with acne at one point too, and she would use this before she would do her foundation, and she would b basically like spot conceal along her face, which I, I've done that before too, but then when she put her foundation, I was just like, what? Like, that's what? Like, I need to try this concealer. And then when NARS came out with their soft matte foundation, they sent that to me in PR and they also sent this and I pounced. I was like, oh, I have wanted to try that for so long. Give that to me. And I have not looked back. I have not looked back. This truly became an instant favorite of mine. It just covers so well. Once again, when I was getting ready to do my makeup today, my chin area, it's just, there's a lot. I just have so much redness. I don't have any like active breakouts right now, but there's still just so much redness from when I was really struggling with breakouts and I just want to cover that. So I come in first and then just lay it down and then put my foundation on and it just helps hide those imperfections so well. It doesn't wear off. It just, I'm such a fan of this and definitely if I'm needing that confidence boost, especially if I'm struggling with acne at the moment, this is one that I am turning to. I'm such a fan. I definitely wanted to include an eyeshadow palette in here and I had plenty of choices. If you love eyeshadow palette videos, I have done quite a few on my channel recently. I've done my top fall palettes. I have done um, the kind of like the occasions palette tag where you're talking about a palette that's best for a graduation day and Christmas and a wedding. And, and I've done, uh, I do ranking videos. <laughs> I've done a lot of eyeshadow palette videos, especially recently on my channel. So I have talked about a lot of eyeshadow palettes on here, but when I was thinking about what makes me feel confident, I thought, okay, go beyond just the eyeshadow palette. Like, what's a look that you continually go back to and you continually want to wear for yourself because it just makes you feel flawless. It makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel confident when you wear that eye look. And I came back to the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. This is a more neutral eyeshadow palette, which neutral is definitely me. I, I, I really can't sit up here to say like something that's super colorful it makes me feel confident because it makes me feel the opposite. It makes me feel more self-conscious. I wish it wasn't that way, but neutrals are what make me feel comfortable. It's pretty much my main look that I've done with this eyeshadow palette. I have a tutorial on my Instagram. I can link it down below. It's from a while ago, but it's just a favorite look of mine that I do in here. I use some of the matte browns, but Reputation and Burn, I kind of like mix these two on my eyelid. I use a little bit of angel fire in the inner corner and kind of like drag it up on my crease and it just creates a look that yes it's neutral but it's also almost like a little bit like sultry at the same time it's a tat like it's not like a dark smoky eye but it's a it leans a little bit on the darker side so it makes me feel like kind of sassy at the same time but then it's like these beautiful shimmers I just feel a certain way and I go for that look a lot especially if I if I'm going somewhere where I'm like ah maybe I'm gonna feel out of place or maybe I'm not gonna feel the most confident at least I can do my makeup and feel good about it and having a look like that I just feel like <clears throat> like I'm ready like I'm ready to take it on I'm ready to tell my anxiety to take a hike today I don't want you and the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded can do that for me so that's a good thing Okay, so I technically included my lip, my lip combo as one, even though it was two products, it's like this is the combo that makes me feel confident. So that's why I said technically eight, but then technically nine, because I was like, oh yeah, technically my lip combo is two different ones, but I was meeting it as one. But I was having a really hard time deciding between these two products, and then I was like, it's your video, Samantha. 
you can do what you want, girl. You're the boss around these parts, except for Aries, but she's by her food bowl because it is past time for her dinner, so she she, she can't even get mad at me right now because she's too busy thinking about her food. But I wanted to include these two products because they make me feel confident for a couple of different ways. And these are my blush and bronzer duos that I created with Over Cosmetics. I also really wanted to include the highlight, and I was like, I don't know if that's too much, so I made myself pick a different highlight that I will share with you next. But when I was thinking about a blush and a bronzer, I wear these so often and especially when they were first coming out and you know when they were first coming out and as I was able to start testing them we're talking like the end of 2019 early 2020 I was going places I was doing things I was traveling I was always taking these with me because I couldn't really be wearing them on camera yet but I still always felt really confident when I was wearing them so that's why I would take them especially when I was traveling and I was meeting people that I'd never met before Obviously, I wanted to have a face of makeup on that just like mm, made me feel a certain way. And so that is why I that is why I thought of these. So my blush duo is called Chick Lit. So you have one side that is matte and one side that is more shimmer. I get so many compliments when I wear this blush duo. A lot of times I like to mix them together. I go a little bit heavier on the matte side, a little bit lighter on the shimmer side, but I still work it in because the shimmer side, the shimmer side is a little bit darker. Uh, so that's why, you know, when I was creating these, the, the, the hope, the concept behind them was that multiple people of different skin tones would be able to wear this. So that's why we went with the duos. And then the shimmer side is definitely a lot deeper, but you can mix it in with the matte side and kind of create your own perfect shade. So that's how I do it. Mostly matte, a little bit of shimmer, but I get so many compliments anytime. If I'm wearing it in person, I'll get complimented on it. When I wear it in YouTube videos, I get compliments on it. People are saying like, what, what blush are you wearing? What blush are you wearing? I'm like, it's the chick lip blush. This blush was so well received. It was one of the top sellers from the collection, which shocked me so much because I just, I didn't know if people were going to love it, but it really does make me feel a certain way and I think part of the confidence of this comes in too because you know I'm just <laughs> I'm just a girl from Iowa who got to create a makeup collection <laughs> like what what is that about these are available at Ulta Beauty like what seriously like you can go to the Ulta Beauty website and type in my name and my face is going to come up like who what it just it, it it makes me feel a certain way so that's another reason why i wanted to mention them but then also the bronzer duo and i was going back and forth because i was like i have other bronzers too that like make me feel you know really pretty and and flawless and confident but i love this was one of my first loves from the collection that we made i love the river duo so so much the matte side is definitely like my the the matte side I, I just i love you but then you add in the shimmer side if i'm feeling like i want a little bit of glow to my bronzer which i like matte bronzers and i like shimmer bronzers so once again i love that we get the option and you get to mix and match of like how matte do you want to go how shimmery do you want to go and it just makes me feel like it just makes me feel bronzed and glowy and beautiful and confident and flawless and i hope that you're not playing a drinking game with those words because girl you gonna be on another level that is not my fault i'm legally obligated to say that that is not my fault but i just obviously love these products for multiple different reasons and i just wanted i just wanted to mention that i just wanted to mention these i'm not gonna lie to you i was a little bit nervous to mention my own collaboration because i feel like a lot of youtubers who are able to come out with collaborations because i've talked i've asked a lot of people about this because when my collab came out and i was talking about it and sharing looks with it i was getting people telling me like i'm talking about it too much like that's not cool like don't talk about my products too much and I'm like what like this is something I'm so incredibly proud of right like I am so incredibly proud that I was able to have an opportunity like this and that it was so well received like that's such a huge deal to me and I even created a, a graphic I can put it in here but it said something like don't silence your success and those words really mean a lot to me because I think that I have gone through a lot of my life feeling like I should be very quiet when I do something that I'm proud of. For the first while after I started a YouTube video, I didn't even want to mention that I wrote books because I was like, I don't know, is that gonna sound like too self-promo? Like, I've had a hard time with this like self-promotion for most of my career and looking back i'm kind of like oh man like i wonder what would have happened if i would have been more proud of myself and i would have shared my my successes with people but instead i silenced myself for so many years and i just want to tell you that 
I hope that you don't do that because looking back, I definitely get sad. So don't silence your success. If you're proud of something, share it. Talk about it with the world because you should be proud of it. All right, I got a little teary-eyed for a second there, but I have two products to finish it off with and these are both from Charlotte Tilbury. There was honestly so many products that I could have pulled from Charlotte's line that make me feel confident. There was so many that I had on my first initial list that I was making and I was able to narrow it down to these two. One is this highlight, which I also mentioned in makeup that I love that nobody else seems to love. And I mentioned it because of the, the packaging, the actual product itself. I know some, you know some people say that it's messy, which I totally get, but it is such a stunning highlight. It's a liquid highlight. I never would have thought a liquid highlight could make me feel so confident because usually when working with cream and liquid pro products, I'm not as good at it, I don't think. Um, <laughs> even though I think the cream and liquid are supposed to be geared towards like, these are more like user friendly and I'm like, huh? I do not think so. So to love a liquid product as much as I do this highlight, it's kind of shocking to me, but I, it can look so natural yet so blinding at the same time, which I love, but it's not like too much. It's not stripy looking. It's not, it just like melts into your skin and looks so beautiful. I love to do like a pretty defined C shape when I'm wearing this highlight because when you turn to the side and it's just like a full on glow moment, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. So definitely wanted to mention the highlight wand from Charlotte Tilbury. And then the final product from Charlotte Tilbury, the final product of this video is her powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And it's so funny because when I was first trying this out years ago, I wasn't really a big fan of it, but I've definitely changed my mind, especially as I've just started setting my foundation more, as my skin has changed to not be quite as dry as it used to be also. but. You can clearly see the gigantic pan on this. I've become a fan of it. But the reason why I wanted to mention that it makes me feel flawless and confident is because not only do I feel that way, like when I'm first doing my makeup and I want to set my under eyes or I want to set my face and I'll use like today, that this is what I use to set my makeup. It makes me feel good. I've, it's a very lightweight powder. It's not going to disturb anything. It's not going to look cakey on me. So, you know, that's why it makes me feel that way. But also, especially for touch-ups. And of course, this was more of a prevalent problem when I was going out more or you know staying out late at night or something and my I'd go into the bathroom and be like ah, you need to touch up your makeup girl you know something like that you know that could definitely happen um but because when you do touch up with it it just kind of like instantly makes things look smoother like if I'm starting to get a little bit oily with my forehead or you know just in my t-zone area in general I can just take a little bit of this powder apply it it's going to take away that shine it's going to take away that oiliness but it's not going to look like I've been like packing powder it's just it's such a pretty powder and I almost feel bad for like how much I was like kind of roasting it in the beginning when I first got it but now obviously I've become such a huge fan of it and this is always like another reason I wanted to mention it is because this always goes in my purse with me. This always goes in my clutch with me. No matter where I'm going, no matter what I'm doing, this always comes with me. Am I traveling? This is going in my travel bag. And this usually goes not even just in my makeup bag um, that, you know, I'm going to put in my carry-on or put in my main bag. This goes in my personal item that's coming with me, whether it be a purse or like a mini backpack. That's where this one is going because that's just how much I love it and how much I use it and how much I rely on it to give me that touch up that's going to make me feel what flawless and confident all right so that is everything for today's video those are the seven eight nine products that make me feel flawless and confident i hope that you enjoyed this video thank you to everyone who requested that i do it again i'm going to link ali and patty's videos and down below so if you haven't seen those yet i would definitely recommend that you check them out if you're a youtuber i'm going to agree with what ali said that this should be a tag video and that other people should do it because i think everyone is going to have their own i know everyone is going to have their own different version of what looking flawless and if you want to add in confidence it, you totally could but everyone's gonna have a different idea of what looking flawless or feeling a flawless is going to mean to them and so that means all the products are going to be so different so i'd love to see more people do this one as always though if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope you'll also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye